Hi, I'm Mary. Today I'm going to show you how to make a mermaid crown out of stuff you probably already have in your house. <laughs> I first saw a video of how to make this style of crown from Debbie's Design Diary. And um, I'll link the video down below so that you can go watch it because it's pretty cool. I've sort of taken her idea and then made like my own little take on it and experimented a little bit with different things. So here we go. So here's sort of my supplies for the mermaid crowns. <laughs> and I'm starting off with this plastic party crown that uh, you know you can get at a party store or Walmart or something. And I'm just adding pipe cleaner. I actually already had this and I'm recycling it. So I'm just adding um, silver pipe cleaner around it so that you don't see the plastic parts. But then also it'll give us more of a surface to glue stuff to when we get to the glue. And I've already started gluing stuff on the sea stars. So this is one, a plain one. So then I've glued on some rhinestones onto this one and I've just added a jewel in the middle to give it like a center. These are rhinestones that came from jewelry that I'm not using anymore or that was broken like this one. So I've been gluing these on. So it came from a bracelet that was missing a few jewels and so now I have a reason to use it. Like here's the center for one of the crowns. You can see that I have added a ring to the center of it and this is like it was a really old ring I didn't really wear it and so I've cut it with wire cutters and curled it around the starfish to hang on a bit and also glued it and then I've glued some pearls and jewels around it and then I'm going up with the rhinestones and I'll be do gluing rhinestones on the other arms of the starfish as well and I'm gonna add in a lot more shells and I've got e even smaller shells and they'll just fill in all of the little gap I've also got some pearls to add okay so first I've bought the silver pipe cleaner and I'm going to cover the crown in the pipe cleaner so nice and tight and this is gonna give us a place to glue stuff onto as well as give it more of a vintage feel than the plastic cheap feel so that it looks a little cooler underneath the shells. And so I'm just wrapping the pipe cleaner around it. So I've cut the pipe cleaners in half, which you can do easily with your needle nose pliers because there's a little wire cutter right on the very inside of, of the pliers. So you can just snap them in half so they're a little bit easier to work with. And then it's gonna, make it easier to wrap the pipe cleaners around tightly around the crown. So I've been working the pipe cleaners around the plastic of the crown and I'm gonna do it around every inch and nook and cranny that I can find. So I've completely covered this crown now and it looks different it looks more vintagey and then you're just gonna see shiny through the seashells after I glue all of the shells and stuff on here and so this one is like I got this for graduation and like I'm not obviously not gonna use it again so this is perfect for this kind of a project and I've just started covering it as well and I'm gonna cover everything so you won't even be able to see the words or the paint or anything so it'll be completely covered and ready for seashells so here's what the princess grad crown eventually ended up looking like um, so you you can't see any of the writing and there's a good base to glue stuff on <laughs> and I went ahead and went across here as well so you didn't see so much of the plastic just want to make sure that you bend down all of the little ends of the wires the pokey bits and I use the needle nose pliers to do that just to make sure you know it's not pokey and that if you touch it you're not gonna come away like ow <laughs> there we are so I've got a rough design that I'm gonna glue on to this crown and I've got a fork on here that I smet that I curved for dingle hopper you know for Ariel <laughs> I've curled the tines around around to make it prettier and then I've hammered them flat to make them a little bit flatter so they don't actually like grab anything. I've glued some rhinestones in the middle along with some glitter around, around the outside of that to make it a little more brooch like and that's gonna go like on the top part of my crown. I'm gonna add this necklace to have it sort of hanging down and then I'll have the matching earrings that I don't wear um, <laughs> hanging on the sides of it so it'll be sort of droopy pretty and I've got some pearls and rhinestones that I'm gonna add as I see fit to the spaces also I'm gonna add in shells in different places that I see 
And then I've got um, this shell necklace that I'm gonna take apart and just add these little shells into all the little gap places. I've got some old hair clips that I'm gonna add and I thought it would look really cool to put um, some pearls in the middle of it and sort of jazz it up a bit. I've got this pretty like chunky glitter that I'm gonna like um, put in places, make it a little more dazzling. And then I've got some silver metallic acrylic paint um, to paint things that don't match or that just make it a little bit shinier. Um, and I'm hot gluing everything on, so it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna hot glue it straight onto the crown where I want it. And I imagine mermaid crown to be sort of found human things along with seashells and stuff like that. So we've got some little human things in there like um, the fork and some hair clips that I plan to use that I, I think I will glue pearls in the middle of them and then sort of um, find spaces for them in here. Part of the center of the, this, these are old hair clips as well and they look kind of beachy so they'll fit right in there with the seashells for my centerpiece. <laughs> So this is going to be the centerpiece of one of the other crowns and I'm just going to glue them straight on here and this is kind of the bigger crown. So that'll just glue on there like that and then I'll fill in all of the empty spaces with shells and little knickknacks and things. So some tips. First tip, when you're working with hot glue gun, it's really great to keep a cup of ice water at which I just put ice in a cup with some water. That way if you have any accidents or um, your fingers just get really hot from working with the hot glue. You can just stick them right in and then you won't, so your fingers won't be sore for a couple of days. You won't get any blisters. Uh, a lot of times, like, you could get up and go get ice if an accident happened, but a lot of times, like, it's immediate and you want to just stick your finger right in the ice and the sooner you get it in the ice, the better. It's good to have a cup of ice that's like a wide brim so you could stick your whole hand in there if you need to, you know. Hot glue accidents happen a lot. I have a lot of hot glue <laughs> scars just you know another tip is that I like to use tweezers while the hot glue is warm to scoop off and pull off the extra glue so that glue to goopies don't show so you can just scoop that off right while it's warm not not too hot you don't want to burn yourself but right when it's warm you can just pick them off and then you're good to go also I cut a fork in half by hammer bending it and then bending it the other way and it just snapped off and to in order to um, make the end of it not sharp I put a little bit of hot glue on it and then that kind of just coated it and made it like easier so I'm not gonna poke anybody oh uh, I bought a hundred pack of the silver pipe cleaners and I didn't use them all and I made three crowns so I think that you would be fine if you bought like the 25 pack or even less um, it depends on the size of the crown that you're doing so this is the first crown that I made and you see that I've included a dingle hopper, a fork, you know, aerial. And then this was an old ring, this was an old necklace, and these are earrings to the necklace. It sits a little bit lower on the head because of jewelry here. And then the shells that I picked out are just heavier. Um, it was like too heavy to stay on my head right here, so I attached a chain to the top of and I rubber banded in the back with um, some plastic rubber bands so that it just sort of hold it, hold it up because the weight of it was too heavy, it would just fall down. So in my next crowns that I made, I picked lighter shells and lighter things to glue on it. So this is the first one. It's sort of like 1920s kind of art deco styled. It's a mix of like human things along with mermaid things. So it's kind of like things that a mermaid would find on the bottom of the ocean. I made these for Christine's birthday. That's pulling bananas 20. I also made one for Natasha of Tashopolis because the three of us are gonna go out for Christine's birthday and take some pictures and Christine requested the mermaid style crown. So here's the crown that I made for Natasha. It's so white and I think it'll look really good on her dark hair. So up here it's, I had some broken starfish that I thought would make some cool points. I glued on some jewels. I made this design by gluing on pearls and jewels interspersed. And then I like putting the shell backwards and gluing in some pearl, pearls and some glitter as well. That's just hot glue with glitter on top. So it's all pearls and jewels. And drum roll for the birthday girl herself. I've made the biggest crown of all. It is so pretty. I've glued the three sea stars to it. And in between I glued as many shells and pearls and jewels as I could find. 
And uh, these little shells are from the shell necklace that I had and I've glued in pearls in between and anywhere that had a gap that didn't have shells or glue I tried to glue some glitter and I left this one sort of plain so you can see the jewel and then on the side I left these a little plain I glued a couple jewels and just a pearl in the middle and I added these little jewels that were on some wires from some jewelry that I had so this is the back it's just that pipe cleaner and everything and a spot that went through from the center of this there was a hole there so the glue came through so I just glued glued some glitter to it as well. When it was hot, I just stuck some glitter on it. I can't wait to see the girls wear this. Tweet at me or comment down below if you try it yourself. I'd love to see your version or what you come up with for your mermaid tiara.